Today is the first day in getting my shed taken care of. The clutter and space that I have in here is ridiculous. It, I just don't have anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all the stuff that I don't need in this tiny, tiny space and get it the hell out of here. It's just been one of those things. I've always thought, if you're going to do something, just start. And I just basically threw all my stuff in here and then just went about doing it. Now that I'm slowly but surely doing it more often, more and more and more, I'm starting to realise that everything I'm doing, I sort of have to move everything around and it just gets really awkward. And I'm usually a tidy person, but the shed is getting out of control. So I'm probably just going to show you a before and then like go through the process of what I've sort of got in mind. But that's the shed now. You sort of come in and then you're greeted by drum kits, bloody fridge, and you sort of that's that there is a drum stand with a box attached to it. That's how I've been recording my videos. Very low production, as you can tell, but that has got me out of. That's it there. Just some slits in the side, just so I can put my phone in it and then I can hold it, you know what I mean? But, you know, I need somewhere to put all my inks. I need, so I've got my toolbox there, that will probably stay. But, you know, I've got, I'm a mechanic, so I've got toolboxes, I've got toolboxes, I've got toolboxes, toolboxes, toolboxes. But they can go. I've got an old, I've got an old uh, workbench there. It needs to go. It's rotting. It just needs to go. I need a roof on this bloody thing because it's actually open to atmosphere. You know... It's, it's just one thing after another, but again, I started and now I'm actually slowly but surely putting more and more time and effort into it and one day you'll look back at my older videos and then realise that I've actually put some time and effort into it, not just, you know, and it's all, it's, this whole video thing is mainly about me watching myself progress anyway, you know, and then having other people join in on the process and say, you know, I've noticed this, you could probably try this, and that's what I'm hoping to get from this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the process today. It's going to take me a while, but that's what happens. And I don't really have a lot of spare money to do what I want to do, so it's going to be a slowly earn money, do something, earn money, do something, earn money, do something, because I'm not one for any debt. I do not think you should do anything with debt. You know, buy a house, but try and stay away from it as much as possible. That's a personal opinion. But I'll do, I'll get whatever I can, and then I'll slowly but surely build it up. You know, I want to have nice black walls, I want to have a nice white roof, I want to get rid of this dang carpet in here. Get rid of that and then have a nice white floor, whatever it ends up being. I might have to get rid of the wash bay out of here as well. Because I don't really need it in here. It's just taking up too much space. Workbench is going to go. Fridge is going to go. You know, there's going to, that just so much has to go. But I'll leave it there because I could go on and on. I just, even the sound of the people next door smashing that house together, you know, just drives me bonkers. But we'll get there. We'll get there, you know. So watch this space. We'll get there slowly but surely. But just want to have a look around. As you can see, look around, look around. Nothing really much to see there. Oh, look at it. It's all cluttered. Space, 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 space. Cameraman. There he is, cameraman, absolute legend, you know, tools, tools, boxes, boxes. Oh, goodness gracious, you know. We'll get there. <laughs>
Oh, have we scored a winner? Oh, woohoo! What the fuck? A hundred mil of super enamel. Oh, yes! I'm really into sharpening things up and I'm gonna sharpen the crap out of this butter knife. See, like the wood's all a little bit rotten and stuff like that. Now, I don't want to spend too much money. I just want to get it to a point where, you know, I'm, I can move comfortably. Because it's just so cramped. And I really want to be able, I really want to practice and I really want to become better at screen printing. I just really want to put in the time and effort. And it's hard when you don't have somewhere that you feel comfortable. That's kind of one thing. It's like, I play the drums when I started. I didn't feel comfortable getting on there. And that's kind of what stops people from doing things, obviously. Having that comfort. And I sort of just pushed through it to learn the screen print and stuff. Just kept pushing through this comfort just to try and do it. But I was like... And it's, it's hindering my recording as well because it's just so dark. And this, yeah, but... Hopefully, by the time I go through this process, I'll be more comfortable behind the camera. And once the place is done, you'll actually be able to see me and I'll have a few places where, you know, it looks a bit more professional. But we'll see how it goes. All we can do is try. And I'm trying for you. I'm, tr I'm trying for you. You know? I'm, you know, all I want for Christmas is for Santa to please stop here. Please. Stop here, Santa. Just got sort of my this basic, you know, my air compressor, you know, uh, my sprayer, my pressure washer rather, my actual uh, exposure booth, heat press, things like that. You know, they're all sort of gonna stay here until I'm ready to rip everything out and get it into a place that nothing's gonna get damaged. I don't want that stuff getting damaged. But I'm getting there. What the the main thing I'm really excited for. The main thing I'm really excited for is the roof. Once the roof goes in, I'll be very happy to sort of be in the area. I won't have next door banging away or cars going past right in the middle of actually recording, which will help a lot. <laughs> that will help a lot rather than, you know, you have mid conversation and then someone going past with a dog. I don't own a dog, by the way. Got two dogs, one next door and one just up the road, and they love having a little bit of a conversation. <laughs> you know, I'm not angry at the dogs. There's no way you can be angry at a dog for barking. 
they're just trying to communicate. That's all they're trying to do. So I'm not angry. <laughs> I love dogs. I love their, you know, they're taken care of. Every dog's a good dog if they're taken care of properly. Even pit bulls and all those things, they are beautiful, beautiful dogs that love and care and love hugs. The only ones that are bad are ones with bad owners. And they're not being bad, they're just being acting the way that they think they should. All dogs are good. Anyway, there we go. I'm getting through it. I've got so much crud to take to the tip. But I'm, I'm actually seeing things. Look at this nice piece of artwork here. Look at that. Someone's actually put that on there. We've moved into this house, uh, slowly but surely, making it our own. And, you know, this little piece of fantastic art, it's kind of like Banksy. You know what I mean? Look at it. Like, w w what was this person trying to convey? What was that person trying to convey there? Does it make... The, can anybody tell me what that sort of means? You know what I mean? You've got the, the square and the, the triangle and these lines here. They go up, and they go up, and they actually go up past, you know, as if it's it's never ending. You know, this artwork's never ending. Anyway, we'll get through it. But, as you can see the time, it's one o'clock right now. It's just, it's one o'clock. It's always one o'clock here. Yeah, better get on with it. One of the main reasons we bought the property was for the artwork. As you can see, it's it, it sort of it brought me back to when I take my trousers down and I see, I think, it's even uncircumcised. See that? It's very hard to pull off an uncircumcised willy, but this person has caught it in its most raw form. I have no idea. I think I've just found where the guy, the previous owner, put the dead bodies. Oh! Uh, a crud hole. What the hell? Oh well, there you go. Over that goes. Previous owner might not have used it for dead bodies, but I will. Oops. So this must have been, I was always having issues other that carpet, I was wondering what the hell that thing was, but yeah, it's the sex, I mean the, the dungeon, I mean the uh, hole for rubbish. Then I've got this, so I've got like a huge issue of rot right here. And then, this thing was always being a pain in the ass, but um, ah. Uh. Uh, a repair, I guess. I don't know why they're not actually... Ugh. This looks like a job that I would have done. I am absolutely terrible. I'm terrible with uh, repairs and things like that, but that's pretty bad. 
yikes because I, what I wanted to do was just put a piece of wood or a M MDF or something across the there just to cover like this wood's not too bad I don't know I don't know what to do like the woods it's actually not that bad it's got a little bit of you know flavor it's got a little bit of flavor I don't mind it you know but I don't know what to do I don't know if I keep the wood if I keep it or you know it's, it's actually not that bad it's, it's a it's a you know there's a couple of rot spots that one and then all around the corners you know but and then there's that there's that thing down there that was kind of I just fixed that thing for you oh dear god but I don't know what to do with that oh look it's one o'clock but you know I'll see what I come up with always once I get the place empty, then I'll be able to sit there and go like, you know, this is a better idea or whatever, but the progress is getting there. We're getting there. Put the roof up, paint the um, cinder blocks. I'm going to have to put some type of uh, sealer on them because they're so porous, the cinder blocks. They'll just take the paint and you'll have to apply heaps and heaps and heaps, but I'll, I'll put a sealer on it and then that should hopefully rectify any issues of, you know, sucking up all that paint. And then, yeah, put a roof on, paint it, and I'm going to put a floor on. I'm just going to put something over the top of it. Just leave the floorboards there and just put a nice clean, uh, nice clean wood on top of it and then just leave it at that. I'm not going to worry about doing anything to that floor or just leaving it because it's just, eh, no point. But, again, until then, I love you, I'm going to leave you. Ciao. I'll see you once I get back into this shed and try and get some stuff done.